Hey guys, and welcome to another video. This is my reaction to Man United winning 1-0 right at the end. And yeah, that was painful. That was really, really painful. Um, I think we've known for like about four seasons or however it's been that Ryan Frederick is not good enough. I think we can get that uh, very clear. Because what the fuck are you doing there? Why was nobody up for it? You had a whole week. <laughs> you had a whole week to prepare for it. Like, or, or six days, whatever. And you all still look tired. A whole week. I get there's been a lot of games. And it also goes on a manager as well for not making enough substitutions. I, I do rate the substitution for bringing Fredericks on in the end. Because, again, we needed pace. And Sufal had a fucking stinker. But... It didn't work in the end, and I'll hold my hands up for that as well, for thinking that Ryan Fredericks would work. So it, 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 I'm not going to fall for it again. I'm go I think it's time for him to go, and I, I think his contract's running out. So that is that, that would be that for Ryan Fredericks. You can see it coming. I'm, I'm watching it with my mum, and we all know what Man United are like over the years, watching Man United, and right at the end, 1-0... They bring on substitutions. Ralph Ranjik, fair, fair play to him. He brought on the right substitutions and we had no one to bring on. And that says it all because we don't have a, a good enough squad. And David Moyes has still not signed someone. He's still not signed a striker. He's still not signed a centre-back. Craig Dawson giving a ball away. Even Kurt Zuma was giving a ball away. Well, not Kurt Zuma and Craig Dawson in the end did have bad games. It, it's not good. I'm... And we need uh, a centre back that can play on the left side so Kurt Zuma can feel a lot more comfortable. But I am bored of seeing Craig Dawson play regularly. I don't think he's good enough either. Um, Pablo Fornells, you need this break more than anyone else. You definitely need this break. Please just take a chill pill on this break and come back stronger. Come back to the... The Pablo Fornals that was sick in the first two months of the season and up to the Liverpool game. Because even against Leeds, when we, won, when we lost 3-2, I get he scored and he worked hard off the ball, but he was shocking on the ball. I never have a problem with Fornals off the ball. Off the ball, he works hard and yeah, he, he, he literally presses everyone. But on the ball, nah, not all, not all the time. It's like Especially when he's out on the left as well. I think we actually need Ben Roberts to come back. We're never gonna, we're not getting Lingard, I don't think. Um, a lot of people still have hope, and I, I say, just move on. I'm going. I'm getting bored of this transfer saga. If we don't sign a striker and a centre back, for me, we're gonna be like mid table. We're gonna be like where Villa and Palace are, and not where teams like Wolves and Arsenal and Tottenham and Man United are gonna compete with now. It was all going well at the start of the season when we had like Ogbonna and stuff, and I think Ogbonna is a very big part of where we were at the time, and I do think we would be in a better position with both our centre backs playing every game. But you should also prepare to have that quality behind them and deal up and Dawson, as we've seen. They they can play the odd game, but they could. I think only them them two with them. They could only work in a back three, and I think people need to stop making excuses as well because that goal was onside. I thought it was offside as well, but I've looked there many times. Stop trying to justify it. With and I see it online like we're gonna like oh I've just proved this offside. Maybe they'll give us the point in the end. Like you know what I mean? Like you're not gonna you're not gonna get the point just because you've shown a different angle. But yeah, that's that's what that's what it is, man. And we've got a break now. I don't know what I'm going to do myself because I don't know. I, I, all I do is watch football, so I don't know what I'm going to do in this break. But uh, there will be videos coming up if we do sign someone, which will probably be on transfer deadline day, the way it's looking right now. But yeah, that was painful. I, I hate losing to Man United all the time. But yeah, it's always one deal at Old Trafford and we always shit ourselves for some reason, like they're not there for the taking. But yeah, that was a hard one to take. And uh we're not going to get top four. We'll be lucky to get top six. If we get seventh, I'm going to be fuming. I do not want Conference League. And if you if you want us to have a good European run and a good cup run, sign some fucking players. But yeah, leave a like on this video, subscribe, and I'll see you later.